Willie. Who here is a basketball fan? Just call me. Who here is a football fan? Mm -hmm. All right. My speech today is on. What's your face? What's my name? All right, Willie, the movie. <laughs> oh, uh, my God. If you want to ask me, I'll, I'll tell you later. But here you go. In baseball, you need to be you don't have baseball IQ. If you don't have baseball IQ, you're not going anywhere. Okay, you're gonna be like one of our teammates, like I mentioned his name, but he's dumb enough, Bucks Rock. Alright. <laughs> Only take two steps ahead. If you're uh, if you are out of your position and there's a for example it's a runner up first and they hit the ball down the line, where are you gonna go? Second. Second base. Good. But you always gotta be a step ahead, two steps ahead, if that, because there's a million plays that can happen in one shot. Always need to be locked in. You can't be focused. I've seen people just bite their nails. Look at a girl stands or something. Always be locked in. Nice people. You gotta know how to handle adversity. Dealing with frustration. I was going through this at the beginning of the year. I couldn't buy a hit to save my life. But I stayed locked in like the previous slide, and guess what? Now I'm back, back in it. Dealing with pressure. Who knows what pressure is, other than what says right there? What the pressure is? In baseball. Right. What's pressure on your life? Pressure on your life is... <laughs> <laughs> pressure on your life is having eight kids without a job. What are you going to do then? You got you to know how to deal with failure. Baseball is a game of failure. Out of 10 at bats, you get, one, you get three hits, you are a Hall of Famer. You're a phenomenon. Dealing with success. If you are the best player and people are on you, media is on you, making millions, you can't, get, you can't let that get to your head. Because at one time, whatever comes up, guess what? Okay. It must come down. Next. Now let's apply this to real life. Life is also a game of frustration. It's failure. It's decision making. There will be times where life's gonna get hard. But we need to stay positive, stay strong, and move forward. Put the path behind you. You can't you can't do anything, you can't fix anything that happened last yesterday, last year, ten years ago. All you can do is move forward. Every day is a new chance to make it right. And learn from your experiences, treasure the memories, and use those experiences to feel for the future. In baseball, we all have a baseball card. I don't, not yet at least, but hopefully I will. Major leaguers, college maybe, they have a baseball card. And on the bottom, on the bottom, on the back, they have the stats. For Pitchers, and not even for pitchers only, but also for offensive people, people are hitting. They would show their home runs, their RBIs, their own scores for pitchers. How many people they struck out, how many people they hit a home run against them, blah, blah, blah. But they do not tell them the story, how they got there. If we had a life card, how would yours look like? Would yours be good? Would you put good stuff? Would you put bad stuff? How would you look at it? And no matter what we go through in life, everything stays recorded within itself. And next slide. For example, this is the card, Lincoln Mano. Pretty tilted. You know, tilt your head for this one. But yeah, next slide. My call to action. If you're not a baseball fan yet, become one. Now, ASAP, please, think about the ups and downs and work through is staying humble. Don't let life take you down, come back up stronger. If life throws you a curveball, guess what you do? Get out of time. And in conclusion, baseball is the best sport because it teaches you life lessons. Remember, if life throws you lemons, what do you make? Lemonade. Don't look back at the past, but focus on today and work for the future. This is my resources.